Welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to take a look at Excel 2003 and Excel 2007's biggest statistical omissions. That would be the lack of the probability density functions for the t distribution and the chi squared distribution. Both of these distributions are very useful for business statistics, and we're going to take a look at their workarounds. Well, let's take a look at Excel 2003 and 2007. They have only the following cumulative distribution functions for the t and the chi squared distributions. Excel 2010 has solved this. They have the probability density functions. You see that at the bottom. And if you see the red CUM parameter, that stands for cumulative distribution function. If you put a false in there, then you're solving for the probability density function, not the cumulative distribution function. So let's go to the T distribution's probability density function. We'll take a look at an interactive graph right here. And if you look in the website, you'll see a video on how to make one of these in Excel. But first, we have to calculate the T distribution's probability density function to be able to do that. And here we're varying the, the parameters, the mean, and the uh, standard deviation. We're watching those changes reflected in the chart. And you'll see the sample size. When that gets above 30, then the chart closely resembles a normal distribution. When it's below 30, like 5 or 10 right here, then you see significant changes in the shape of the graph. Now let's take a look at the mathematical formulas for the t distribution's probability density function. Pretty ugly looking formulas, but we've solved them in Excel, so you don't have to worry about that. And let's take a look and see how we did that in Excel. And here is the final formula for the probability density function. And we're going to look at each preceding formula and see what is in the Excel cell. You may have to pause this video to catch that because these are pretty long formulas. Now let's take a look at this, the formula preceding the final formula here and see what's in that cell. There it is. And we also trace the precedents, what goes into each one of those cells. It's a very important thing to do that when you're creating a graph. Well, let's take a look at the formula of the cell that precedes the, that one. And one thing you'll notice, all of these formulas are derived from sample size in T. Those are the two parameters of the probability density function for the T distribution. And here, we're solving for t equals 1 at a sample size of 30. A sample size of 30 equals 29 degrees of freedom for the t distribution. And what we are solving here for is the probability density function of the t distribution at t equals 1 when the sample size is 30. And we can see that the answer for that is 0 0.2378815. That is the probability density function at t equals 1 for a sample size of 30. And we can verify that by going up to our interactive graph. And if we put the cursor right on the graph at t equals 1 and touch the curve, we'll see that that value agrees with what we've calculated with our formulas. Now let's take a look at the probability density function for the chi-square distribution. There's the formula right there. It's another ugly formula. And here's an interactive graph of the chi-square distribution. As degrees of freedom are increased, the graph resembles a wave rolling from left to right across the page. And there's a video on the website, which you can download, that shows how to create this graph. But first, we have to create the probability density function of the chi-square distribution in Excel. You need to be able to do that before you can create this graph. Now, there's only one parameter in the chi-square distribution. 
That's the degrees of freedom. And let's see the Excel formulas for that. We have two parameters, the degrees of freedom and x, the point that we want to calculate the probability density function for the chi-square distribution. And here is the formula right here. It's a long one. You may have to pause the video to get all of that, but that's the formula. And we're calculating the probability density function of the chi-square di distribution at x equals 4 when there are 6 degrees of freedom. And that answer is 0 0.13533-5283. And we're going to scroll down to the graph. And we're going to put the cursor on the point on the graph at x equals 4. And set the degrees of freedom to equal 6. Put the cursor on the graph on the point x equals 4. and that point should agree with what we've just calculated. There it is. Okay, so if you'd like to be an Excel statistical master, take a look at www.excelmasterseries.com and you can download the Ford Manual Excel Statistical Master. It's only 1995. It's 400 plus pages. Okay, thank you very much and goodbye.